I'll never stop doing everything I can in my power to be the right kind of man, husband, and friend that you deserve. I will never stop bettering myself to become the man that you always say you see me as. And most importantly, I will never stop humbling myself and seeking God where only He can transform me. For both my benefit, for yours, and for ours. Ruben, stand here ready to take you, Andrea, to be my wife, continually my best friend, and soon to be lifelong partner through marriage. I almost can't believe that the time has finally come that I'll be able to actually call you my wife. And it's not something that I ever fully understood or imagined as a true possibility until I met you and you came into my life. And as I look back on our time together, the people that we've met, the experiences we've been through, I find myself overwhelmed with honest gratitude for every moment that we have shared, good and bad. And that ultimately, they all led us to this very significant one today. From great adventures across the seas, quiet moments of intimate conversations, to every spontaneous meal we've ever shared, my life is constantly made richer because of your presence in it. And I know that this new chapter will be full of so many more experiences, but each one that comes, I'm so happy that we'll get to experience together as husband and wife and God with us in each step. I know that this is a sacred tribe partnership as it were, and I will do all I can to treat it as such, leaning on him for all mine and our answers. Benny, today I stand in front of you, truly amazed at what God can do in our lives. Who knew that I would be making these vows to the person who didn't even want to sit next to me at youth? Yep, yep. <laughs> and even though I have imagined this very moment countless of times, God truly exceeded my expectations on how he would truly move on our behalf. We have prayed that this wedding would be a testimony to his name. And yeah. he has been so faithful yeah. and so gracious and so generous. Amen. Yeah. Two more steps. on. And truly from the bottom of my heart, there's no one else I'd rather spend the rest of my days with other than you. But most importantly, by God's grace alone, I make this vow to love you as Christ loved us. To love you with faithfulness, generosity, gentleness, <laughs> and word. humility to your leadership. <laughs> Benny, I cannot promise that there will never be storms in our lives, because the Bible says that trials and tribulations will come. Yeah. But I promise you that no matter what comes our way, I will hold your hand and stand by you on my knees in prayer, declaring God's promises to God. Amen. Amen. I will walk with you in the valleys and I will celebrate our victories together with praise on the mountain tops. I will be by your side whether you're struggling with sickness or in perfect health. Whether we have extra on our bank accounts or we don't have money for Sakura. <laughs> <laughs> Promising you that in all of those times, I will stand with you in faith that God is our healer and our provider. I love you now more than I have loved you seven years ago. And I am extremely proud of the man of God that you have become. Oh! And as our love gets stretched, as it matures, I promise to love the man you will become in the future with all my I truly cannot wait for what God has in store for us then. So until I draw my last breath, I promise to stay with you in this holy covenant, surrendering to the call God has for the world. I promise to choose you to choose us over and over again. Say it neck, and I love you. I love you too. As 
bless you guys. Love you. Appreciate everything that you do for this community here, this family, and city faith. And we just continue to watch you grow as God will make sense. I've known them individually and I've known them together as a couple and I can honestly say that they're an incredible couple. When uh, Andy first said yes, I knew that when she said yes at that moment that I'd be stood here today. I didn't know I'd be giving a speech, I'm not going to lie to you, I didn't think you'd get me up here, but I did know that this day would happen. I also didn't expect it to be six, seven years later, but it happened. It happened. We're here. That's all that matters. A little bit of advice from me to you guys. Never go to bed angry. Love always. And don't let the little things get in the way, all right? Enjoy life together. Everybody raise your glass. I wish you guys a lifetime of happiness. You'll say something funny, she won't laugh. Yeah. <laughs> no. Um, but since then, you have helped me through so much in my life. You set the standard for how friends should be. So, let's raise a glass to the most loyal man I've ever met. Yeah. Thank you. Andy, you're incredibly lucky, and so are you, Meg. <laughs> Thank you. Best of luck. Thank you. We're going to make each other so happy and that every blessing from above will be yours. And as you begin this exciting journey together as a married couple, I wish you all the best. To the bride and groom, Mr. and Mrs. Go Mystique. I wish you a lifetime of happiness and know that I am so proud of you both. Love you. Thank you. <laughs> happiest day of your life, but you have got many more lying ahead of you and Benny. You are heading on an amazing journey together, and I pray and wish you every happiness in life, and to have more children together. <laughs> oh, I, I mean, happy, okay. more years together. Calm down, calm down. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love you both. I love you, Andy and Benny. God bless you. We love you. Finally, to round it off, I want to say a thank you to my wife, which is the best sentence so far today, I'm just saying. For always being here for me, making me happier than I ever thought possible and for actually marrying me, which I didn't think a possibility at, at one point before, and yet, here we are. Uh, <laughs> the person I am today is owed in massive part due to your seemingly never-ending patience, passionately corrective nature, and overall craving for spontaneity. Those that knew you personally may have once said that an anime-loving tomboy like you would never find someone, and I think we know who that is. I'm not going to point them out, they know who they are. But somehow God created me, I believe, to be the perfect contradiction to that statement. So it all works out, it's alright, let's hope, let's hope about that. I can honestly say that I always saw that beautiful, strong, courageous, fiery and passionate woman inside of you, and I'm so grateful that she actually let me pass all of her guarding walls all those years ago. You know you're my best friend, and you're also my greatest love on this earth. I love you. Mahal na mahal kita, Seretlek.